Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. My name is Jack. You can call me Aishinobi. And today we have part two, episode five of our watch through. Last episode, we saw the death of Maria Ross at the hand of Mustang. But things aren't really as they seem because, I mean, we, we've seen at the end of the episode that Armstrong and Mustang seem like they know like what's going on. They're talking like they know that people are listening. They even said in the bathroom, like, you never know who's listening. But you can kind of pick up on social cues and like the way they're talking that they have an underlying plan here to fight back against they don't i don't even know if they know what forces they're fighting against and i don't even know exactly what forces we're fighting against i mean we know there's the sins there's king bradley but also there's like a higher power that's controlling them so i have no idea they've split up edward and al armstrong took ed this was part of mustang's plan he said they're out of the way i just don't know armstrong's putting his, his trust in Mu mustang so i guess i will too all right Here's Ed and Armstrong. You ever gonna tell me what's going on? I haven't been fully informed on the details. Honestly, yeah. My only orders were to retrieve you and to rendezvous. I guess here. he's a higher rank. I'm glad you made it all right, Major Armstrong, sir. This guy? Lieutenant Breda. Lieutenant Breda. The arrogant palm of a small human. Brother should have arrived in Rusenbu by now, so why hasn't he called? Staying a little to busy. That he's got me here to do his repairs. I have no idea what's going on. Good thing I can explain it all. Oh, Ling. He got there so fast. When did you get here? And how did you even get in? The window. It's open. It seemed appropriate for a criminal. How did he get in like illegal alien as well as locked up escapee? <laughs> worry about Ed's well-being. Dude. I'm sure he's just fine. I'm still confused about Ling's place too. Because like he was with the butcher for a bit and then. Crossing the border. bastard. Wait. Mr. Han. How much further? They're crossing the desert, left? aren't they? We've almost made it. You can see the ruins ahead. Huh. Why are they going to Xerxes? <laughs> Whose idea was it to bring the kid? The horse. It was a direct order. Is it because he can hide here? Looks just like the fable described it. The story about the origin of alchemy in Amestris claims the entire kingdom of Xerxes was destroyed in a single night. And that the only survivor wandered into a mistress shortly afterwards went on to spread the science of alchemy huh how interesting we have a similar legend in xing about a drifter from the west xing is where ling it's is said from that his teachings were combined with our ancient techniques to form the alchemy we practice today alchemy also we haven't checked him with scar in like two episodes we know him as the western sage Hmm. So the West in his title is supposed to refer to here? It is believed so, yes. I wanted to visit the ruins of Yeah, Xerxes. that's that, that is where Ling wanted to go. That's she right. Did, Ling. Now I know why. Because of the ancient but tales, Xerxes yeah. Was such a highly advanced society. How were they wiped out in a single night? It could very well just be a legend. Hmm. Or more. Is that like from the intro? That was a cool shot. I swear that's from the first intro. Like at the very beginning. Yeah, definitely. It's like, it looks like kind of like an alchemy circle. That sounded like Chidori. That sound effect? Edward! Huh? Hmm? Uh. Back east, where I was. It's a nice place. None of the big city noise. And lots of beautiful women. What? Damn, Colonel. <laughs> Oh, Mustang. Oh, you slick man. Oh, you slick, slick man. They know it's all corrupt, man. This seems a little too showy, sir. Is that what you think? Mustang's arresting her in public. So hard onto them. To the newspapers before she's even had a trial. Something's not right. Colonel, we need to speak to you about General Hughes's murder. Hey, Bowman, give me the phone for a sec. Barry? Yo, Mustang, you seen today's paper? Because there's an interesting article on the... Hey, Bunny, you know better than to call me at work. Let me call you right back. Just Wait, hang on. Wait, dude, my really? brain. You sure about this? Lieutenant fired a bullet, all right. But it wasn't me, not you. I've still got a hole in my right hand where it passed right through. Well, that changes things. Mm. Barry, I've got a proposition. Oh, my gosh. Mind. He let Barry out. Oh, oh dude. <laughs> I promise not to kill anyone. How about Second Street in the warehouse? Oh man, dude, Mustang's freaking awesome. You to awesome. everything on this list on the double, okay? Sixty pounds of pork, carbon, some ammonia. What is this? 
He's going to make a body. Yeah. Oh, human my gosh. Of course not. I'm just going to whip up something that looks like a human corpse. Jeez, he did a good Wait, job. What about when they do the autopsy? I'll be too charged for them to ID it. That won't stop him from checking the dental records. Yeah, they I've did. Under control. They even specifically mentioned that. Pull it off? To try and confirm it. I'm not claiming to be an expert on human anatomy, but I've got plenty of experience burning corpses. Let's go. True, I mean, he's the hero of the Ishvalan War. From this point on, you're dead. So she just book it out of there? Man. Drops Step the bracelet too. Yeah. I was about to say the bracelet was there. Oh my gosh. At least like it happened now and not full metal. Like they didn't reveal it like a thousand episodes from now. Metal kid? We didn't plan on this one. Edward's here? Yeah, but I'm sure the colonel will come up with something. Right. Jeez, dude. Is it stupid After that Madame Ross was prematurely free? When I saw the like female, I was like, chopper. no way Ed's so mom is alive. That'd be stupid. Why did I think his mom refuge. before Maria? So we all agreed to rendezvous here uh, in one big effort to aid the lieutenant's escape. I can't believe the colonel was able to pull one over on us like this. He knew it'd be easier to convince you if you actually saw Lieutenant Ross. He said he didn't want to take a chance on some hot tempered kid endangering the operation. So we sent you so out here. What's the rest of the operation then though? You said operation is a Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Is there more to it? He's got a plan to reel in the puppeteer, the one that's behind the conspiracy. Well, I mean, if you want to reel in the puppeteer, you're reeling in the You remember Barry from the fifth. The Mac Daddy boss man. One hell of a rampage. They're bound to send someone to reclaim him. That's the other Barry. Like the other, I don't know if it's like so his body, like his old it? body. Why take Ed? Colonel was just trying to keep him out of his hair, wasn't he? <laughs> you got it. Oh, so oh he told I them everything. Barry to help him out with the jailbreak in exchange for the secret to his immortality. The science guys that put me in this body are all dead. And it's not like I know how they did it. What? That's not fair. Get scammed. You know what? You should ask that Alphonse kid. He's also just a soul glued to metal. Dude, so I how am. is Barry playing such a key secret. role in all and of this? I, I would have never expected it. I don't exactly see how I have anything to do with it. I've got nothing to do with this. And yet here I am, stuck in the middle. Of it. Yeah, it feels bad actually. He's drawing the sim. He's drawing collected a fair amount of intelligence, oh. and once we properly piece it together, we'll have the general's killer. Oh, dude, we will absolve you of this crime. Lieutenant like on the run, basically. It's just hard to accept that he's dead. Feels bad. And what shall you do now, Edward Elric? Because if they find one sin and like break you that, just have to keep moving it's literally forward. a can of worms. We still have people that help us. Some people get angry at us, and others support us silently. Each one of them has tried to help me keep my promise to my brother. All I can do is move forward. I'll protect everyone I can along the way. That is what Miss Hughes said. Can't let him die for I know nothing. That's a hard promise to keep. It's hard enough just trying to take care of myself. Everybody's sitting I'm around like incapable of it. Ed? I'm so Are glad Maria Ross Ro is alive. That was so sad. I think that I'm gonna give Shing a shot. Might as well. I wonder if we'll actually get to see Shing. Shall I tell your parents? As much as I want them to True. know. True. You can't have loose ends, actually. I just don't want to put them in that kind of danger. Oh, but that's so sad that they think she's dead. Major Armstrong, Lieutenant Breda, please deliver a message to the Colonel. I need him to know how grateful I am for what he's done. If there's any way I can help him, tell him to send for me. I owe him a great debt, and I am willing to put my life on the line to repay it. Yeah, he never gave up on her. He could have just easily, like, cut off that. Goodbye, Edward. Take care of yourself, Cut off that okay? loose end, but didn't want her to die. Still owe you. you can get me next time. So now are they just vibing here in Xerxes? Like, you're blessed to have such good allies. What's Shing like? It's a country steeped in a rich culture, and the people are hardworking and honest. I'm certain you'll feel at home there. Hmm. So I can expect to find a paradise on the other side of this desert? Yes. Although, I can assure you the trek across this desert is severe. You'll need to be careful. <laughs> I recommend Sad. Your fluids from this point. She has to basically like dish her, dish her entire <laughs> life. That's How rough, about I swing man. By the shop sometime tomorrow, and if you ask me nicely, I'll bring a gift. 
The guy pointing at I'm him. Sorry, hold on, Roy. Hey, Kate, we have a customer. Could you please let Jacqueline know? We have a customer. Copy that. Oh no. Oh my gosh. The other Barry, dude. Barry! Wait, is Will that like relax, Fallman? We want this one alive, so don't kill it! Is that like his original body, I'm guessing? But like, what is and the red was that red eyes? I'm so confused by so many things right now. Like an ashtray. Gene Fallman? Don't you think I'm wearing this mask for a reason? <laughs> Man, I could stand working with amateurs. <laughs> Just don't do anything that would give away. What is yourself. happening? Be watching us from anywhere. Hey! Ah! He recognized them as Check himself. Uh, yeah. I think that's Barry. They even. Set. They even called him Barry, right? He's waiting outside. We'll be safer there. Oh man! As soon as I saw who he was talking to, I was like, "Oh no! Like hell's about to break loose!" Yo! Old Barry got some moves. Oh, that was a high-powered rifle. We've got the hawk's eyes watching over Ooh, us. Ooh, sniper! I heard a loud noise. What happened? It was nothing. A customer was getting fresh with Jacqueline. Let's so freaking go! Oh yeah. So that's why All he's right. talking. Okay. Yeah. I figured he was just talking like Wait, code word. Think he knows what I'm saying. Mm. No way. I thought this guy. Dude, everybody's familiar. listening. That's my that's own terrifying. human body. What? Are you sure? I knew it. Those sick bastards must have dumped the soul of some feral lab animal into my body, and it came to find me because. Dude, Barry, you're freaking so ripped. Bad. Talk about memories. <laughs> I haven't even seen this guy since the day my soul got. I feel like Barry prefers him. being in like the metal suit now because he doesn't have to deal with anything else. And he can get shot, it's, and it doesn't matter. It's like that transmutation circle from the fifth lab. And why does the top part have to be missing? <laughs> Anishvalan? I don't have any money, so you. Ishvalan. Yeah. A ton of Ishvalans. I'm afraid that we're gonna have to take you hostage until your military returns our whole family. <laughs> what a nice way of saying you're hostage. Not over a single kid. It was the death of a single child that triggered the entire Ishvalan civil war? You really shouldn't doubt your significance in the eyes of history, Madam Sean. Look at you fools. Are you all trying to decide? Where did all of you people come from? Look, he won't try to attack you. Were they all just like hiding behind the rock? Just let him go now? I don't get it. I always heard that you guys hated Amestrians. Despite the atrocities your country has committed, I know that not all Amestrians are bad. Adam Sean and I were both injured during the Civil War. We were saved by these two Amestrian doctors. To be mm. honest, I do hate you. But the two of them saved me. And you deserve the same treatment. You're not talking about the Rockbells, are you? Are you saying you were a friend of Dr. Rockbell? They saved the lives of countless Ishvalans all throughout the course of the entire war. No kidding. They were like an aunt and uncle to me. How did they die? So to say, we haven't killed, murdered in cold blood, and it was by the hand of an Ishvalan they'd saved. I'm so sorry. Could you just stop him? Oh my gosh. Tell me who Wait, did. wait, he had bandages like that. Maybe it is Scar. But he was an Ishvalan monk and his right arm was tattooed. Scar! I would imagine he had the bandages like across if his face like that. The chance, would you deliver a message to the resting place of the rock bells? Give them our thanks and our apologies. He knows too. <laughs> Gosh. You know how amazing this is? I mean, how often does a guy get the chance to chop up his own? He's totally fine with just killing his, his old pretty self. Sure that would kill him and you told me not to do that. <laughs> well, this changes things, damn it. Back off, Barry. I thought you were supposed to have the urge to return to your Clearly he doesn't. No. That body's way past its expiration date. Oh, the oh, man. Nails. That's what stinks. This is just cruel. I have to do it. It's my body, so it's up to me. I said no. Squabble. One of the customers is mouthing off. <gasps> oh no. I'm gonna have to call you right back. I've got a customer of my own to deal with. <gasps> oh my gosh! No way, dude, it's cutting it. Oh, dude, you gotta get out of there! No, 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 no. 
she dead she dead it's over they gonna make up for not killing off maria ross to kill her oh my gosh dude there's so much going on the whole is fallen thing i don't even know ling's place in anything anymore the fact that the butcher freaking barry is playing such a vital role in all of this mustang knows exactly what's going on that's a little bit more reassuring it kind of hinted towards it so those are winry's parents so scar killed winry's parents winry's parents were the two doctors in the war scar killed i'm get i'm thinking of scar that's why ed went and stood out afterwards he was he like realized it he realized it was in Ishvalan that killed them oh my gosh there's just so much to fill in now i think ed's gonna have this bloodlust for scar but more than he ever did before this girl with the panda we haven't even seen in a couple episodes but like i said she's still with scar he hasn't made it to central yet things are gonna things are getting freaking insane i hope you guys enjoyed this video again if i missed out on anything or just like you want to make a comment on the episode just drop it down below Peace.